Amen. Amen. Sata tau nanti kau nonton rumbulu bi kau muni nir soli tu nonton rangau nama rendam bi merbar rongo, eno nomu ni bos. Osa masuk teman guni bah kalau ngat kau nonton rumbula, tau tu kau sarre nak kau ni dengan tuin tuin ibon luar tuis sama tiku mikina. Teman guni gay bah kalau ngat tegir. Tu rana lo tapi kau misakin tapi kau muni talian matakan di dai bi nawa boleh bi nombula, bi nawa boleh bi nombis reki bi nawa boleh bi nombi bangal alat taki bi nawa boleh bi nombi nomu ni tiku buat gay kau mami. Eno matakan di dai. We acknowledge Holy Spirit. We welcome you, and we appreciate your presence here with us. Right now, bina awal lebih besar. Nasungguh ini engkau pakai kena nono muni bosa. Kim sabo kau bini bina kata kau rabi kau muni. Enam mata kau ni singan dan dini. Bak kalung kata kau tu nono muni bosa. Bak kalung kata kau nono rumbulan nolu bini muni. Weh nono muni tamat tamat melu lobi ramuni dzir dzir dah kita kau ngana kelu. Kim amitu bukan mawasnya nabi kau bini bina kah. Sengan ada tani. Ada ngan nolu bini muni ocisu. Nani mami turang kau ibu ambulan dina. Endu ambaunga. Amen. Amen. Greetings once again in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for giving your time to sit down and be part of this service right now. Amen. Wherever you are tuning in from, in different places that you are tuning in from, it's a joy and a privilege to be able to stand before you and bring to you the Word of God. That, uh, and I believe that God will speak to you and encourage you. Amen. This, this Word that God will bring to us, it is an encouragement to each and every one of us. Amen. Nampaknya ni kalau bikin dah, yang mata kan dah nak kau ni kuat, mebangun anu bikin dah, mebangun alang kan kita bikin dah, yang ngau na, yang dah lalu dorong mati kau ngau. Siang ni ngau na rau rau, ngau na yang dah sakti kau kau ngau, ngau na ngan ini nanti tu sebab boleh ka buat nak kau. Amen. If you have your Bible with you, we will go together in the book of Deuteronomy chapter thirty, beginning from verse fifteen to verse twenty. Deuteronomy chapter thirty, we will begin from verse fifteen. Going down to verse 20, I'm going to preach to you on a topic that goes like this, the importance of making the right choices. We are living in a time and day and age where we have to make choices constantly, choosing how we have to live our life, choosing what we have to do in the future, choosing how we, we want to advance in our careers. Amen. And the most important thing for us to know, beloved, that it is important to choose Jesus in the time that we are living in now kambi bin don do no no ndi ndi taka na ngone to rango chisu no no ndi ndi taka na kelo we na bin rakini mbula to do kanta lago do mochingo the importance of making the right choices in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 beginning from verse 15 to 20 this is what the bible says Moses spoke to the people regarding what God has given him the message that he was been given he said see i set before you today life and prosperity death and destruction for I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to Him, to keep His commands, decrees, and laws. Then you will live and increase, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away and you are not obedient, and if you are drawn away to bow down to other gods and worship them, I declare to you, he said, I declare to you this day that you will certainly be destroyed. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. This day, verse 19, I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live. That line right there, beloved, is very important to understand and not to forget what he said there. He said, now choose life so that you and your children may live. Verse 20, and that you may love the Lord your God. Listen to his voice and hold fast to him, for the Lord is your life. This is the reason why you, you need to choose God. You need to choose Jesus out of every choices, out of all the things that you can choose from. Choose God. Choose Jesus. Because he says in there, in verse 20, For the Lord is your life, and he will give you many years in the land he swore to give your fathers, 
Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The importance of making the right choices. The world will give you whatever he wants to give you just to take you away from the presence of God. But it's important for you to, to make the right choice, to choose Jesus out of everything that you have been given. Choose him. Because he says in verse 20, for the Lord is your life. O kwana no mumbula, o kwana no mubakalo ngata tai, o kwana no mukakedenga. Na kelo ko ya kakedenga bikan ta toranga ken marama. He is everything to everyone that is alive right now. Nothing can satisfy you more than the God that we serve. Only God can satisfy your whole, your soul. Only God can satisfy your longing heart. Na kelo ndondonga na ron selebi ko na ba den ko ko ba sankarati ko na matani ndai. Ana bu ne bimbi ke na mon garo no ba bi na na no mundi ndingi. Na kai ko ndingi taka na buru buru ngo na matangali ndraki ni bulo ko ndingi taka mon bulo kina. Na matangali ba na na ko ndingi taka mo program taka kina na no bu baka sama. E bimbi mon ndingi taka chuka na kelo na bi ngau na kedenga. Amen mon ndingi taka chuka na kelo na bi ngau na kedenga na kato do ko mon ndingi taka chunga na kelo ngo. Amen. And a sangan in Donaka to run a can marama and a baga tao taka naka and a the cava be gonna colonia sign jing it take you quay, maybe a cake the kede. You can run in jing it taka and burburum go mogain jing it taka and a colon. To go to Bango Kwasi, I said before you today life and prosperity, death and destruction. So he has given them both the choices, he had given them the freedom to choose whatever they want to choose. He has given it to them. The power to make the right choice has been given to the people with all the blessings that come after it, with all the benefits of choosing Jesus. He said, I set before you today life and prosperity, death and destruction. So when you choose life, you choose all the goodness of our God. Amen. But when you choose death, it will come with a destruction that follows after. But he said, I have said it both before you now. It is now time for you to make a choice, but make sure you make the right choice. Amen? I said before you today, life and prosperity, death and destruction. For I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him. When you choose God, when you, you need to understand this, beloved. When you choose God, he says, I command you to love the Lord your God. You've got to love the God that you have chosen. You've got to love the Jesus that you have chosen. Choosing Jesus is not about just going to church every Sunday. Choosing God is not about just being part of a denomination. Choosing God means you love him every day of your life. Choosing God means you walk in obedience to him. Choosing God means to keep his commandments, his decrees and laws. That is what it means to choose God. That is what it means to choose Jesus. That is what it means. That is what it means to choose life. Yana imbalim balin ni ding ding yuko tu kuna chikungo kwa tu kuna wanga kwa. I command you today to love the Lord your God. Choosing Him is more than going to church. It's more than being born again. Is it's more than being baptized. It's more than being than receiving the blessing. Choosing God is to love the Lord with all your heart. Choosing God, if you choose to live for God, if you choose to serve God, if you choose Jesus to become the Lord of your life, it means that you must love him with all your heart. You must walk in obedience before him. You must strive to keep his commandments. Then it says that you will live and increase. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to process. Sometimes we choose Jesus because we want the blessing. What, 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 what uh, Moses is saying here, you've got to choose life. You've got to choose God. And the first thing to do is to love him. Second thing is to walk in obedience before him. Third, you have to keep his commandments. Then the blessings will flow. And I'm going to move on my Nabi Bakalong at the time. I'm moving on on my own. Nabi 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 Bakalong at the time. You know, so the Kaba ngayon ko na kain don don mo the Kaba. And what it what is what is it that you need to do?
Number one, you have to choose life. You have to choose Jesus. You have to choose God. Number two, you have to love the Lord your God. Number three, walk in obedience. Number four, keep his commandments. And then it says, then you will live and increase. Not only you will live, but you will also increase. When the Bible says that you will increase, it means all the areas of your life. But it all begins to the most important choice that you will have to make. Out of all the things that the world lay down before you, choose Jesus. Choose life. Choose the Lord. Amen. And love him with all your heart. Walk in obedience to him. Keep his commandments. Then you will live and increase. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to process. This is the most important thing that you need to know. It's important to choose God because the blessings will come after it. You choose God. You love him. You walk in obedience to him. You keep his commandments. Then you will live, number one. You will increase and then you will be blessed. Verse 17, it gives out the warning. But if you turn your, if your heart turns away and you are not obedient. Listen to what he says, beloved. Moses said this. But if your heart turns away. It is just the heart. Yes, the body will still be in church. The body will still be, be part of the denomination. The body will still carry the name of Christ. But the heart turns away. And this is what, what, what is happening in our churches today. And the Lomani Lotu, and the Bulotunga Nathan, and the Lomani Beso Solin Lotu, and the Londanga Satuma Kautalitumaituma. But if your heart turns away and you are not obedient and if you are drawn away to bow down to other gods and worship them, he gave them a declaration. He says, I declare to you this day that you will certainly be destroyed. It is for certain. There's no if about it. There's no it might happen. It says you will certainly be destroyed. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. And then he says this, this day, verse 19. This day I call heaven and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life. Choose life so that you and your children may live. In other words, if you want your children to do well in their future, choose life now, choose God now, choose Jesus now. It is down to us as parents what God we will choose to serve. Amen. Verse 20, and that you may love the Lord your God. Again, love the Lord your God. Listen to his voice. Hold fast to him. When you choose God, you choose life. When you choose life, you will live, you will increase, you will be blessed. Amen. And then it says, verse 20, that you may love the Lord your God, listen to his voice and hold fast to him. Loving him, listening to him, holding fast to him. Amen. Three important things to do, especially in the time that we're living in now. Love the Lord your God. Listen to him alone because there will be so many voices coming to you at one time. So know the voice of the Lord. Jesus said, my sheep knows my voice and I know them. So you've got to choose to listen, to obey God. Walk before him. A man with sincerity of heart. That you may love the Lord your God, verse 20. Listen to his voice. Hold fast to him. Amen. When you choose God, hold fast to him. You will be safe in the hands of Jesus. You will be safe in the hands of God. Hold fast to him. Don't let him go. I searched for the one that, were, that I loved. On my bed, I look around, I couldn't find him. I open the door, I can only smell his, his perfume. 
That means it shows that he was there at the door knocking and I didn't listen. And I didn't obey. I didn't even open the door for him. And then I went out into the streets. I couldn't find the one that I love. I, I searched further along and I met with the, the, the watchmen at night. I asked them if they have seen the one that I have loved. And they didn't, they didn't see him. And I moved further along from them and I found the one that I love. And the Bible says in the book of Songs of Songs, of Songs of Solomon, he, he said this, When I find him, I grab hold of him and I'll never let him go. When you find Jesus, you find life. When you find God, you find life. The life that you are searching for right now, you, you will never be able to find it anywhere else. It is only found in Jesus. Choose life, beloved. Choose God. Choose the Son of God. Choose Jesus. And when you find him, hold fast to him. Love him. Listen to his voice. Hold fast to him. And then it says, for the Lord is your life. Life is only found in Jesus, beloved. For the Lord is your life. And he will give you many years in the land he swore to give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Numbers 23. In the book of Numbers chapter 23, I read a story about a man. His name is Balaam. And he was called or asked by Balak to come and curse Balak's enemies, which is the Israelites. And when he was called to come and curse the Israelites for Balak, Balaam came and he said to, to, to this king, Balak, and he said to him in Numbers 23, 8, How shall I curse whom God hath not cursed? Or how shall I defy whom the Lord hath not defied? Verse 19, in the same book, he said this, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and he shall not do, do it? Or hath he spoken and shall not make it good? Behold, I have received commandments to bless. And he hath blessed. And I cannot reverse it. In other words, beloved, what I'm trying to say to you now. When you choose life. When you choose God. When you choose Jesus. Blessings will come to you. You will be blessed because of your choices that you have make, made in the time that we are living in now. And I sang a kene ni rao wano doa na tamata mena kers ta giko tali, ni sa bless ta giko nakalo. When God blesses you, he, nobody, he cannot allow anyone to curse what he has blessed. Amen? If you want that to happen to you, beloved, you've got to choose God. You've got to choose Jesus. You've got to choose life. Because as we have heard in the book of Deuteronomy, once you choose life, once you choose God, you love him with all your heart, you walk in obedience to him, you keep his commandments, then you will live, you will increase, and you will be blessed. When you are blessed, beloved, nobody will do anything, nobody can do anything to curse what God has blessed. Every words of curse that comes from wherever they come from, before they hit you, they will reverb back. They will reverberate back. It will go back to where it come from in the first place. Why? Because you have been blessed by God because of your choices that you have chosen in the time that we are living in now. Now, sa dingin tayo kisuso to rang akin mara man dingin dingya. Ena muri ang amay na bibakalong atag. Yen sa bakalong atag yung nakalo. Ena sa ngatali nindo na kau kau alay lay na rukuni matin singongo. Mena kus tayo yung kumbala tni sa bakalong atag yung nakalo. Ena buo na imbimbiki na mo dakapa bago pinaka na nomun dingin dingi. Ena ngau nango. Na ngau nanga ibukita ni kena na lom. When your heart turns away, those curses it will hit you left, right, and center. But if you search, 
if you serve the Lord your God with all your heart, chosen him to be your Lord, to be your God, then you will live and increase and God will bless you. When he blesses you, nobody will dare to curse you anymore because God will never allow something that has been blessed to be cursed again. Amen. Numbers 23, I like what it says in there. How shall I curse? He said, you know, even Balaam said this to Balak, if you, if, even if you give me a house full of gold and silver, I will not be able still to curse the Israelites because they have already been blessed. So if God has blessed you, no power under this universe, no power in this world, no power over any devil, or any witchcraft, or any wizards, or any warlocks, or anyone will be able to curse you when the blessings of God is upon you. That blessing will only come to you when you choose God. Amen? You choose Jesus. You choose life. He said, how shall I curse whom God had not, had not cursed? Or how shall I defy whom the Lord had not defied? Verse 19, he says this, God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. I just want to remind you with those words. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Which means if he blesses you, he will never repent in blessing you. The only time where that blessings will come off you is when your heart turns away from God. Notice, the blessing remains. The person goes. When you return, the blessing will always be yours. When you leave, you leave the blessing. You don't backslide and you slide back away from God. You slide back from your blessings that God has blessed you with. But when you come back to Him, the blessing will still be there for you. Provided you stay there, the blessing remains when you remain. What did God do? He didn't say anything to you. There are people who curses you. There are people who, who gossip about you. You don't have to worry about it. 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 Hold fast to him, remember, beloved. Hold fast to him. God knows what you are going through. God knows the situation you are in right now. It doesn't matter you have been spending time on that for ages. That man, 38 years, and he received his healing, his healing from Jesus. He, makes, he made excuses. He said, there is no man to take me to the water when the angel came in and stirred the water. 38 years. That woman for 12 years with the issue of blood, it, it, it stops instantly. Because she chose to defy all odds to come in unannounced and unnoticed to touch the hem of the garment of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that virtue came out of him. Power came out of him. He turned around and says, who touched me? The disciples spoke to him and says, Master, how can you say who touched you? Just look around you and see the, the crowd that are pressing on you. And he says, but this someone in here that touched me because I felt power came out of me. Amen. Choose Jesus, beloved. Choose life. And then he says, God is not a man in verse 19. Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall not he do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? If God says that you will live and increase, that means you will live and increase because God is not a man that he should lie. 
Amen. Some of us listening right now, you just need to hear that word. God is not a man that he should lie. If he says that he will make a way, he will make a way for you. If he says that he will bless you, that means he will bless you. If he says that he will provide for you, he will provide for you. If he says that he is going to heal you, that means he is going to heal you. There is no sickness more powerful than the power of Jesus. There is, more, no, there is no problem more, much bigger than our great God. Amen. Na langa le lebo to dogo ko no no mchengo ni kalevo. Ese kalevo chigo ngana kelo. Ese kau kau chigo ngana kelo. Ese the the chigo ngana kelo. God is still powerful. He is still sitting at the throne. He is still watching you, even though he sits high. But he looks low and he knows what you are going through. Choose him, beloved. Na zava manda na vuna enda ndo njingi taka kina. Menda vaka nanda kuya na kalongo. Na zava manda na vuna enda ndo njingi taka kina. Menda mbiuta na kalongo. Bala tindi kalongo kwe kake dewe kenda. He is our everything. Why then do we choose to walk away from him? Why then do we choose not to believe him? Why then do we choose not to give our life to him? He wants to give us the good life that we are searching for. But we've got to choose him. It's important to make the right choices in the time that we are living in now. You know, that man that I was telling you, Balak and Balaam, in the book of Joshua, chapter 24, the last chapter of the book of Joshua, he reminded the people of what happens in Balaam's day. He said to them in the book of Joshua, chapter 24, beginning from verse 9, he said this, When Balak, son of Zippor, the king of Moab, prepared to fight against Israel, he sent Balaam, son of Beor, to put a curse on you. But then God said that, but then God said to Joshua to tell the people, but I would not listen to Balaam. So he blessed you again and again and again, and I delivered you out of his hand. Listen to what God said here. He said to Joshua to tell the people, you know, back then, when Balak, the son of Zippor, the king of Moab, prepared to fight against Israel, he sent Balaam, son of Beor, to put a curse on you. In other words, God is telling Joshua to tell the people, just remind them what I did to Balaam. Just remind them what I did to Balak. Balak needs someone to curse the Israelites, curse you, your fathers. But then I step in. And every word that comes out of Balaam's mouth, instead of becoming a curse, it changes to become a blessing. He said in verse 10, Joshua 24, 10, God said, but I would not listen to Balaam. So he blessed you again and again, and I delivered you out of his hand. Nangona mai kas tagi kemuni kena ko mai sumi mbaka se soli ko ando na ka bribe taki mai kas tagi kemuni don ko i would not listen to belum so he blessed you again and again and i delivered you out of his hand and then he says to them in verse 11 then you crossed the jordan and came to jericho the citizens of jericho fought against you so did also the amorites the Perizzites, the canaanites the hittites the Gidasites, and the hivites and the jebusites but i gave them into your hands all those enemies i gave them into your hands god is reminding joshua to remind the people of his goodness that he had performed to his fathers before them to their fathers before them a reminder kero chuko na kalotu kono vanga kuchusu apaka na numira manda na kali lebo asa ta kaboti mai ano bukunra. And now they choose to live their life like this. He said in verse twelve, I sent the hornet ahead of ahead of you, which drove them out before you. Also the two Amorite kings, you did not do with your do it with your own sword or bow. Tuno kwa yau vaka talaka ani na hornet mera lakwa ani mera tektikir na kemuni mera ni sanga mandanga ni lavata na nomuni ndaka ititi ni sanga mandanga ni lavata na nomuni seliwao I did all those for you and you choose to walk away from me verse 13 so I gave you a land on which you did not toil and cities you did not build and you live in them and eat from the vineyards and olive groves that you did not plant all these things I have been giving you all along I bless you. I clear the way before you. I take away those enemies that is trying to come against you. I bless instead of curse you. I did all those things and you choose to walk away from me. And some of us need to hear that beloved this morning or this, this evening. 
Ele vou na casa vá calunga te que como é que na na calunga vem não na saúde vamos bolar isso é só ele vir quando está daca vá calunga te que quando não mo vale só ele vir quando não motoca é vá calunga te que na lube mo é vou lhe torrar daca na não mo na vez que a queda da cava na calunga está sem dinheiro está ganhando está vaga nada a coisa na calunga é a lube na casa a torrar a quem marama let us just turn back to our God it is important for you to choose Him now it is important for you to choose the Lord now it is important for you to choose life now. It is important for you to choose Jesus now. Verse 14, then he gives out what he wants them to know. He said in verse 14, now fear the Lord and serve him with all faithfulness. I believe as a nation of Fiji, we need this in the time that we're living in now. We just need to fear the Lord and serve him with all faithfulness. There's only one thing that is needed. Na nanda mata ni tu bin nak kopi tu, nanda mata ni tu lama ni pitin. Dua orang nak kain dengan drapa nama takkan dindai. Minta sangka drapa nak pakai alat dina nak kalungko. Nanda drapa sarang nak pakai indina nak kalungko. Nak kalungko, apa kata kita tu kau bercucu suan? Nabi engkau nak sahuti, ya nak kau asa tak kau mai. If I didn't change, if I never change from yesterday, today and forevermore, if I don't change. Then my power that that works then is still able to work now. Is still able to work in the future. What I did in the past, I still can do it again today, and I still can do it again in the future. Amen. So what we need to do, we just need to worship God. Fear the Lord, He said. Now fear the Lord and serve Him with all faithfulness. Throw away the gods your ancestors worship beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt, and serve the Lord. He says, serve the Lord, fear the Lord, serve him, throw away the gods of your ancestor worship, and serve the Lord. Verse 15, but if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, I believe there are people in our beloved nation who is going through this right now. Serving the Lord becomes undesirable for them anymore. Right? Serving the Lord becomes undesirable for them. Sa sanga ni rupi na kata, merang garawo na kalungo. Era sa waka titinga taka na kalewo ni kalungo. Era sa waka titinga taka ni kalungo sa rauchi ngani takoso. Sa rauchi, it vital, you know, it doesn't matter the state of our government right now. It doesn't matter what we are going through right now as a nation. It does not matter to God the situation that we are in. Nothing is impossible with God. Everything that is impossible with men, it is not impossible with God. It doesn't matter how low we are at right now. It doesn't matter how devastated the country is, the nation is, because of sickness. It doesn't matter how, how chaotic the government is right now, the present government. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. Then he gave out a bold declaration about him and his family. He says, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The importance of making the right choices, beloved. You choose for yourself whom will you serve. Amen. It all begins with, with individuals. I'm talking to each and every individual right now listening to me or listening to this sermon or to those of you who will watch this same sermon later on. I'm speaking to you. Choose now whom you will serve. When you choose wisely, you make the right choice, you will choose Jesus. You will choose God. And when you choose God, your family members choose God. The whole family will choose God, the whole village will choose God, the whole province will choose God, and the whole nation will choose God. And we will be a nation under God. Amen. And a lesu tali kene tu tu makawa. Kwenda sa wakalunga tekin er wakalunga tekin na tumbundo baka beda er sa liuyani er baka iyo wana wane tu rao chisu. E lutu kina na iwa uni weka ni kani. And the mbule kina mwena dona mbule ya kena dona mbule ya pipa karuta kina na kalu. But now, after receiving all that God has given us, it is my, um, it is the, the most saddest thing for me to say that it seems right now that serving the Lord is undesirable for us anymore. 
because of what's going on right now. This is what we are going through right now. This is the harvest of something that we have sown in the past years. And the Satamu Suku Chingora, and the Dingy Ding, and then Dingy Dingy Ken and Dona Nona. And then a Sangi Rondi Vala Suana Kalu, Nakaka the Kamburra Tamata, and a Tamusuka Tanga. Amen. Nakaka and the Kamburra and the Tamusuka. Then do I and the Bagan and the Kuana Kalu and the Bidder and Ona Saudi, and the Samai Tamusuka Chingora Buana, and the Samai Tiguava Valakina, and the Savi was a Takiba Kauta Matabata. Sa Sangi Kelena Viva Kani, Sa Sangi Kelena Viva Roro Taki, Sa Sangi Kelena Vilo Mani. Sa biubaka tiki tiki na vika kedea. Sa mi mulia da talanga kena na vose nikalo mando vei uosi viti en na vei lomani vaka vei te dingi. Vei uosi viti en na vei vaka roro taki. Where does that go now? We Fijians, we are known to be those type of people. We are known to be those type of smiley people, happy faces. Yes, I vei, what is happening right now? Na dhava sa yado to ranga ken marama. We have forsaken God. Serving God has become undesirable, and we need to choose for ourselves now who we will serve. But if we choose to serve God, things will change for the good. Amen? And then a lesser time. You see, I want to bring to you one Bible verse, um, a few Bible verses in the book of Psalms, chapter 33. This is, I will say to you, this is the reason why it's important to make the right choice. Amen? This is why it is very, very important to make the right choice. In the book of Psalms, chapter 33, beginning from verse 8, listen to what the, the psalmist say here. He said, let all the earth fear the Lord. All the earth. So if we just take away that word earth and put Fiji there, let all the people of Fiji fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of Fiji stand in awe of him. It's not what the Bible says. It's just my translation to you. Let all the earth fear the Lord, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. Amen. He spoke and it was done. Which means if, he's, if he blesses you because you choose him, no one can curse what God has blessed. Amen. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Verse 10. The Lord Listen to this, beloved. Listen to this. Please, please, please listen to this. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the people of no effect. You are troubled about what is going on in our government. You are troubled about the, the decision that has been set in place. And the Langa Takachuko can than a car care, the Salau Chumingo, Nabil, Sapaistegim, Sa, Vitala Notagim. We, we worry about that. Yes, we have the right to worry about it. But listen to what the Lord says. Semberning a Yamaya Volatigono Matinitu, some basic rotungo no posse Nicolo, Ronga than a catacono. The Lord, the one that you will choose, the God who will bless you, the one that you should love and walk in holiness before Him. The one you should listen to his decree and law and commands. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations, even the parliament, to nothing. He makes the plans of the people of no effect. So whatever the people are planning concerning you, your land, your, your, your province or whatever that you have. When you choose God, when you choose life, when you choose Jesus, they will do this. They will bring the counsel of the nations to nothing and he will make the plans of the peoples of no effect. Verse 11, the counsel of the Lord stands forever. Amen. And I sang about the Lord in Donata Matam and nullify the counsel of the Lord because it stands forever. And the plans of his heart to all generations. My God, the plans of God's heart will stand forever. From one generation to another generation to another generation. All the Fijian generations. The plans of the Lord, the plans of his heart will stand forever. The plan of his heart to all generations stand fast. If we choose, if we, the, this generation that are alive now, if we choose Jesus, it will be beneficial to our generations that are coming after us right now. Because 
Balat na tawa because serving God becomes undesirable for us. When serving God becomes undesirable, there will be no provision from our Heavenly Father. And that is what we will do. And then asalali ngay kaya, and then asalali ngay kaya, and then andrea may 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 kaya. And then we will be known. The legacy that we will leave behind is this. The generations of debt. The lone generation. O chia, meron kayo sudo may nalupi anda, meron kayo sudo may murubi kanda. Meron kayo tumbo tayo may. Eran kayo may bagalo lomatay kayo nirin na may somotu na nondan jinaw o kanda in dona generation that deserving God becomes undesirable for us. We have chosen the things of this world instead of God. Remember the title of this sermon, The Importance of Making the Right Choices. Because this is the repercussion, beloved. Eran bagalo lomakay na nondan kawa na sinan dimatak. They are looking up at us. That we, the, the father, the husbands, the leader of the house, we parents, we leaders of the nations, we have forsaken God. Our hearts turn away from God. And that is the problem. But the Bible says, Psalms 33, the Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing, which means he will bring the Bill, Bill 17 to nothing. Nothing is impossible with him. So whatever things that you have lost in this life, in this, in this time, God can return it back to you, beloved. If he did that to Job, he can do it also to you. Double portion anointing, double portion provision. But this is the thing that Job is different from everybody else. The Bible says that he is a man that fears God and do not shun evil. And shun evil, sorry. If we get our clue from Job, if you, if you can just align yourself or your life to how Job lived his life. Every day he set up altars for his individual children. Ten altars every single day. Then do na kaya tu posa tata kaya kina na kaluna lubian ay siyang nikelato ko eh may takaw ko na tini na idam idam panisor na bing ngau na tu do ko na bing singa kaya nga may balajira to na lubian that is the legacy that he left for his children beloved what type of legacy are you leaving your children what type of legacy are you leaving the future generations that is coming after us if there is one thing that we should live with them just let them choose God and we have to choose God first before we show them how to choose this God. The importance of making the right choices now because it will have repercussions to the generations that are coming after us. Verse 11 of Psalms 33, the counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Verse 12, blessed is the nation. I am so glad that David used that word. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. In other words, the nation that has chosen God to be their Lord. The nation that has chosen Jesus to be their master. The, no the nation that, that has chosen life. He said, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen as his own inheritance. When you choose God, God chooses you as well. He can make a way where there seems to be no way. He can open doors that no man can shut. When you choose him, he will choose you. He will bring you close to him because you have chosen him. Blessed is the nation. Sakalunga tana matangali. Ersan dingin tak kami non rekelu nak kelunggu, kelunggu tanah yang busa, eh kelunggu tanah yang sana, eh nak lihat kelunggu tak kira nama tanah itu, amen. Tiga bulan mai pun nama tanggal, kena baca bukti atau bukti kena kelunggu tanah matanggal, amen. Kelunggu tanah matanggal. Itu kena bayang ko. The blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen as His as His own inheritance. Nak kelunggu tak itu ngabuana kelu tu rangkai meram. 
na nonda ya umbulo na kawe toke na ngele tu gore mai na nonda bonu vidi era tu ke na na resources le lebu to doko e vuni tu nga mbalata ni nda ya litunga mo kenda na matanikalo na nga una nga nda la ku kina pakanda ndo na matanikalo na vi resources ke dengo na wai wai na ya u na minu rolse ra tungo vi kenda na matanto vidi era vuni tu when we set our course right we choose god we walk humbly before him things will change and am bamba sing mai kila ndora nga una dona nga una ra bamba sing mai na pikango basika mai ndona bunu na wai wai e kuni mai ndona bunu na ndai mani na kola na kopa na lebu ni mineral se tuba na nda mate ni tobiti ya ra buni tunga mbalata ni nda senga nga ni nga rabatu ba bina na kalo na nga una nga na nga una nga nda lesu ke na bua na kalo na nga una nga nda ndingi taka ke na kalo ngo ena ta ta ndola ndola mai na vei buru buru ni kake nga kwenda ndam beda tu nga sa bua ya mbaki mai na nda ndam beda tu e senga tu nga ni ndola ka show up mai because you are away you are not in the presence of god you have chosen other gods instead of the real god sa da bua kalo tu tu bana ka e senga nda betena sa nda ngula da bukina na kalo ndina you know the wisest man that has ever lived to conclude this sermon with in the book of proverbs chapter 30 verse 11 he he brings out four different types of generations he recorded the four different types of generations proverbs 30 verse 11 he said this there is a generation that curses its father this is the repercussion beloved i'm saying to you this is the repercussion of choosing other things than god because those generations they they will come after us They are watching how we live and this is how they will live their life. Because we didn't make the right choice. And I I believe it's about time for us the nations of Fiji to go back to God. Da lesu nga bona kalo. Bala tangwa na rebu rebu ni ndingi ndingi dala. This is the repercussion of making the wrong choices. Verse 11. There is a generation that curses its father and does not bless its mother. That is the first generation. Another generation Verse 12 there is a generation that is pure in its own eyes thinking that they know everything they can do anything they can achieve anything in this life yet is not washed from its filthiness there is a generation number 2 that is pure in its own eyes yet is not washed from its filthiness it reminds me of what the bible says in the book of revelation do kai tukuni do butuniao ian do ndrabu ndrabu Do sanga ni kelani o kemondo na kavalo loma do ndrabu ndrabu do luba wale do matamboko This is the generations that we are bringing up beloved because we have forsaken God this is the type of generations that we are bringing up if we want to change the future generation we choose, we change the God that we serve go back to Jesus choose life choose God for you to live Verse 12, Proverbs 30, 12. There is a generation that is pure in its own eyes, yet is not washed from its filthiness. Number 3 in verse 13, there is a generation oh how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. Sa sibian ang dokan doka, sibian na vie vie lebu. Era sang ni vie baka roko roko tangan non ritumbu tumbu. Era sang ni vie ang karabona kelo. Era toro baka mama na sang ni karabi kelo. Era bosa ndon do era bosa da taka na loto era bosa da taka na itala tala era bosa da taka na bosa ni kelo era vi baka lie lie ai sa ya do tu na nda mate ni tu na ngona ni kwa ni ra vuna uchi ko na itala tala ni ra vuna uchi ko na tamate ni kelo ko ka divir na kelo mer vuna tanga na nona bosa era bosa suru era bosa bosa da tiko mai that is the generations that we are bringing up right now because we have forsaken the real and the true god that we worship before There is a generation oh how lofty are their eyes ramata bibelebu and their eyelids are lifted up if we are not careful beloved that is the generations that we are bringing up right now verse 14 the fourth generation he said there is a generation whose teeth are like swords and whose fangs are like knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men Rabie bie lebu era mbuto mbutako era linga totolo era sa sang ni roko bana ngase era sa sang ni baka roko roko te kirna non ritumbu tumbu era sa bie da kaba ngana kara bie da kaba ni ra lako ya ni era mbuto ko da na kango ra mbuto ko da na kara ko be ngo ra ko be ya ya na generation to ranga ken marama and sa rede ti ko na ngona ni kuwa there is a generation whose teeth are like swords 
and whose fangs are like knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. Is that the kind of generation that we want to bring up? If we don't want these four generations to manifest in our nation, then we need to change what God we serve. We need to forsake all other gods, all those so-called God that we think they are God, but they are not. And we need to come back to the only true and living God. This is the importance of making the right, the right choices because you will live the, 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 the lifestyle that you live now. You will live it for the generations that is, that is coming after you. If there is one thing that you need to choose, choose life, choose Jesus, choose God. He said in John chapter 14, Jesus said, I am the way, chapter 14, verse 6, I am the truth and I am the life. You are seeking the direction in which way you have to go, come to Jesus. He is the way. If you want to live, if you are searching for life and you still could not find it, come to Jesus. He is the life. If you are searching for the truth, if you are searching for the truth right now, Amen. Whatever you are choosing this time, beloved, in this life that we are living in, choose God. Amen. Choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Importance of making the right choices. Because once you make a choice, you will become the slave to that choice. But this is the good thing when you choose God. He will never call you a slave. You will become his child. You will become his sons and his daughters. Amen. What other things that you have chosen instead of God, you will become a slave to those choices. But when you choose God, God will never allow you to become his slave. You become his children. Believe what God says to you. Believe what Jesus is saying to you. Believe the leadership of the Holy Spirit in your life. Amen. When you choose God, He will say to you, You are not my slave, you are my child. I am your father. The importance of making the right choice. If I have to ask you now, who will you choose? Will you choose other things or will you choose God? And if there's one thing I can leave you with, just choose God. You will never go wrong. Remember, whatever the nations is talking about, you know, the people, their meeting, their council, God will bring it to nothing. You choose God, God will bring the council of the people to nothing. Amen. You know, verse 10, Proverbs, uh, Psalms 33, 10, the Lord brings the council of the nations to nothing. Parliamentarians. That you are safe, even in the midst of all these problems, in the midst of all this sickness, you will be hidden in the shelter of his wings. Amen. Thank you so much for giving your time to listen to the word of God with me this morning or tonight. I want to pray with you, beloved. If you haven't chosen Jesus to be the Lord of your life and to be your Savior, I don't want to let this moment go past you. I want to give you the privilege to make this right choice to choose Jesus. Remember, if you are a husband, if you are a father, remember there are children looking up to you. The God that you choose will also be their God. Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. If you are a single father, if you are a single mother, maybe you are a single parent, bringing up your children. You know, life is hard, I understand. But there is something different about choosing God. 
because he is life. Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Amen. Nambula chukubi chisu. Nakabi nakatudu ko chukubi chisu. Kya wan dren dren nakaw sa tapa, yiko sa tapa tuya na nono loma nimba yi nakalo. Sooner or later, things will turn out for your good because God is faithful. Remember, numbers, he is not a man that he should lie. Amen. To go and uh, Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall not he make it good? He will make it good if you choose him tonight. Or this morning. So please close your eyes and bow your heads and just repeat this simple prayer of repentance with me, inviting Jesus to come into your heart and be your Lord and your Savior. After that, and then I will pray for you. And that will be the end of our sermon this, this afternoon, this evening. Amen. Please close your eyes, bow your heads, and just repeat this simple prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you with all of my heart because of what you have said. I know that I am a sinner. I have wandered away from your presence. And now, Lord, I'm coming back to you. Please forgive me of all my sins and wrongdoings. I confess that I am a sinner. I need a savior. And I welcome you to come into my heart and be my Lord and be my savior. I have now chosen you to be my Lord. I receive you into my heart. I confess with my mouth and I believe with my heart that you are the Son of God. You died for me on the cross so that I can be saved. I am now saved. I believe in you. I welcome you to be my Lord and be my Savior. Thank you for taking me just as I am right now. I thank you for this new beginning. I thank you for this new journey. And I thank you for eternal life. I receive it in your name. I pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved, if you have prayed that simple prayer of repentance, welcome to the family of God. And it's my prayer for God to richly bless you as you make the right choice for you and your family to serve God and God alone. Amen. Dodo ko sumutu ko na masu ay namatangan din. Ito rang akin may mga baka binibig na kapagalipo. Bika mo ni. Nani mami kalo ay namatangan din dahi. And I have a rang and doing doing one more and doing some to make in an alubimuni and doing doing now nair and do lag the rumor. Bearers allow the rumor to go on button in Boeing bearers and I can't about talent or matabo. Came on me Baba Binibinaka, you near Nibaka and Nubi came on me Baba Mataka. Make him a Mikila to rang and in Bim Bin Din and Ding Ding became a Ding Ding Kina. Malatinera Muri came on me to come in total and a generation. Ernest Sumitig came on me to be singing in Mataka. The mango Sam Masu and Mataka and then a cocoa near the Chisu. Ni alu bi naga tora ni gei bi buke ni ta koso nungu kelo mer mer beso ta kati guna non rumbulo ira na alu bi muni ena matangan dende usam masu laga non rumbulo to do guna alu bi muni ira sulia tu non rengau na mer andam bi mer wagaro rong ena nomuni bos ena matangan dende ena kabin dende ni ni gei wakalo nga tu takir baga lebu sar tora nga ena kabin ku beira ena gei wagaro rong ena baga malua nan din din ibu nuera sama mai kina ena andam bi kina ena wagaro nga tu kina ena nomuni bos ena usam masu tamangu ena kau kau ni ada icisu. Ni wakalo nga tutekira, ena mataka ni singan. Weira rasa toro na kalawa ni wakam boti ke muni. Mera suliya na non rambula be ke muni. Mera saan dingi tegi ke muni. Tamangu ni waka kalo nga taka na non rambula. Ena non radhawi kalawa bo. Tiga wenda inda ika lakwa ya ni turanga. Winaka waka lebu sara tamangu. Saan masu laka be ke muni. Na mate ni tuwa viti. Na kaya laka the roomi. Na nren reso tabi. Na mate we tau bi turanga. Tamangu e sanga tau dhawa nindo na kangwari. E siwi ya na no muni kau kawa. Seo ni kau kawa tiko nga. Kaya mani waka dhawa sara na vika ara lau duruma. Seo ni kau kawa tiko nga na kalu. O ni sisanga tiko nga ni lasu. E na lasu na tamata kia dhanga. O ni nandino tiko nga o ke muni. Kaya tiko na no muni tamata o ke muni. Na kalu. You are not a man that you should lie. Kepa kau ni sakai ni nabi bakalong atau tak kau ni nabi bakalong atau tak kira. Kau ni sakai ni nabi bakar rotang na salon ni nabi bakar rotang na sal. Kau sakai tu kau nomu ni bosa. That you bring the counsel of nations, you bring the counsels of men to nothing. Turang esang serangan indo nakain rendre. 
moni vaka tau yang ataka kena na vika sambo sei ena mata ni toibiti na non rakunru na leoni bonua non non rtai na leoni bonua ni kelando ndo ke memi sang ni bekile taka ke memi sang ni bekile ve rei taka turanga na ngwe ni mata ituru but nothing goes unnoticed by you lord you see everything you know everything that is going on you just want us to choose you help the people father help the nations of fiji all the families Meron ding tegi ke muni nga toranga na mataka nenda ke baka ni sa tawo na mbula en duanga na bonu era ki na na baka demu e bi ke muni dondonga ni buke ke ma me me ke ding tegi ke muni te konga e na bi nga una tawo ko be ira la godur ma to ma te i release the power of the resurrection upon each and every one that is that is sick right now i rebuke the spirit of sickness i rebuke the spirit of pain i rebuke the spirit of infirmity right now in the name of Jesus, leave that body and enter it no more. Sickness, go right now. Sickness, live right now. High blood pressure, live right now. Heart diseases, live right now. In the name of Jesus. Now we matter get a cancer, live right now in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for the power of resurrection that is rest upon all these people. That they will receive their healing right now in the name of Jesus. From the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Father, we thank you for that healing. We receive that healing in the name of Jesus. We now believe that the Lord has blessed us with the power of the Holy Spirit. And so, we believe that the Lord has blessed us with the power of the Holy Spirit. And so, we believe that the Lord has blessed us with the power of the Holy Spirit. And so, we believe that the Lord has blessed us with the power of the Holy Spirit. And so, we believe that the Lord has blessed us with the power of the Holy Spirit. And so, we believe that the Lord has blessed us with the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the word in season, Father. Thank you for bringing us the now word that we know what is what will become of us if we choose you. We now have a little bit of 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 a little